One very important theorem on subsequences says that in case you have a sequence a n, okay, such that you know the limit of that sequence, that sequence is convergent and it converges to say a limit a. So, this a actually will belong to uh, some real number, okay, will be some real number. Then any subsequence of this sequence will also converge to a. So, that's what we're going to be prove, proving in, in this video. So, first of all, let's start off with a subsequence. So, let, let us have a subsequence a n k, okay, where k is greater than or equal to 1, be a subsequence of a n, a subsequence of a n okay and greater than or equal to 1. So, what do we have to prove? What do we have to prove? We need to prove that a and k converges to a okay. We need to prove that a and k converges to the same limit a. So, we need to prove that for any epsilon greater than 0 there exists say a capital K, okay, some natural number capital K such that, such that for any small k greater than or equal to this benchmark K, your, your element A and K belongs to the epsilon neighborhood of A, okay epsilon neighborhood of A. So, that's what we have to prove. So, how do we do it? What do we know? We know about A n. We know that A n converges to A. So, by using the definition, I can say that there does exist some K such that, such that for any K greater than or equal to this capital K, A K Okay, a k will belong to the epsilon neighborhood of a, right? This is given to us, okay, convergence of a n is given to us. So, a k will belong to the neighborhood of a. Then, then for any k greater than or equal to this capital K, we will also have something. What will we have? We have, we have that nk, nk it will be greater than or equal to n capital K which will is greater than or equal to K, okay. We will have nk, nk the natural number uh, k, uh, nk will be greater than or equal to n capital K which is greater than or equal to K. Now, this is by definition of subsequences, subsequences, okay. This is by the definition of subsequences. So, in, if I have this sort of a thing here, what will that mean? What will this mean? This will mean that a n k, a n k will belong to the epsilon neighborhood of a, okay. It will belong to the epsilon neighborhood of a. So, therefore, basically we have a k such that, therefore, for the given epsilon greater than 0, there exists a capital K such that for any K greater than or equal to this capital K, for any K greater than or equal to this capital K, A and K belongs to the epsilon neighborhood of a and since since 
Epsilon greater than zero was arbitrary. Arbitrary, it holds for any epsilon. Okay, it holds for any epsilon. That is for all epsilon greater than zero. There does exist a k such that a n k belongs to the epsilon neighborhood of a for all k greater than or equal to this capital k let's just review what we've done what we've done is we had the sequence converging to a okay so we said that there would exist some you know natural number k such that for any k greater than or equal to k a k will be in the neighborhood of a okay now for any k greater than or equal to k, by definition of subsequences, we will have that n k will be greater than or equal to n k uh, because k is greater than k is greater than uh, or equal to k. So basically, what we are trying to say, if this is one, this is two, we know that by definition of uh, definition of uh, subsequences a n 2 is greater than or equal to a n 1 right and so on and so forth so that's the definition of uh, that's the definition of subsequences which is greater than or equal to this k so which is 1 okay so that's what we mean so a n k will be in the neighborhood of a okay because a k is in the neighborhood of a so a n k will be in the neighborhood of a okay so for given epsilon we have that a and k is in the uh, neighborhood of a and since epsilon is arbitrary it holds true for every epsilon